right, and we're back, we're live. A little change in plan. Uh, remember I told you I was going, I probably would take a razor blade and go over that entire fretboard. Well, that's what I, I started doing and been doing. I'm up about the, uh, uh, I think the seventh or eighth fret now. I don't know what that crap is on that board. It's, uh, well, you saw it in the other video. I wish I had gotten a, you know, just took a picture of it. Anyways, I'm going, I'm taking it off of all of the board, whatever it is. I don't know why anyone would put stain over rosewood or, or dye or whatever that is anyway. But I'm taking a razor blade going between every fret. How do you go between a fret? Going between every two frets and scraping it away, but I'm leaving just enough of it to kind of look nice. I'll bring you over and show you in a minute. Well, we'll take a look at it when it's done, but uh, well, I'll bring you over here and show you exactly how I'm doing this. If you ever have a fretboard that's stained or died, or maybe it's still alive and just sick, and <laughs> no, uh, I'll show you what I'm doing. You can do this to yours and get it back to the natural grain wood finish. You know, assuming it's not got finish on it, like some electric guitar maple fretboards are. So uh, let me bring the camera over here and I'll show you how I'm doing it. Hold on. <laughs> I ran this razor blade across a piece of metal, created a burr on the end of the edge. And I'm using that burr to, to get down in here and scrape that black stuff away, whatever it is. I have no idea why someone would want to put on a dye or stain a uh, rosewood board of all things now I can bend this blade just a little bit so if I want to get right in the center I bend the blade back like this a little bit and that allows me to be very accurate with this make it touch where I want it to touch I don't always have to do that but in some areas of the board, I do have to. Oops, there we go. This one. Like I say, if you have a, a guitar or an instrument that uh, fretboard's been stained on it and you want to get rid of the stain, this is the way to go. Guitar's trying to slide away. I guess I should clamp it down. That would be an excellent idea. But I'm not really taking a whole lot off of this, you know what I mean? I'm just just touching it really. There we go. I wasn't even going to do this upper part of the board where I up the first fret to the fifth. Wasn't even going to do them, and I thought, well, it would look it would look more natural, I guess, if I did the whole entire board. It wouldn't look like it had been messed with. You know what I mean? So I decided to do it all. Up the entire fretboard but like I say I am leaving a little bit of that stuff on there too to kind of maintain that darkish look I kind of like that but I'd like, like to see more rosewood grain too you know what I'm saying can you dig it let me re readjust the camera for you hold on there we go I think I'm on this fret I think yeah I doubt that you can see this material being removed you might be able to see it I don't know you probably can see that we'll clean all this up and oil it later on all in good time, my little chickadee. 
all in good time. If you pull your razor blade across a, a piece of metal, and get that burr on the, on the edge of your blade, this job, well, I see a place I missed here. This job will go a lot easier. Yes, sir. First, second, third fret's all we got to go. We'll try. <laughs> to take the strings off to get these. Of course, like I say, I don't really care if I get them all or not. I want to leave a fair amount of that stain or whatever that stuff is, leave it there. It does make the uh, fretboard look a little bit darker. <sighs> but yeah, you can see what, I, what I'm accomplishing here. In a few minutes, I'll show you the entire board. It's, it looks a lot better, or it will. Well, I'll show it to you right now. Hold on. I keep in mind, it's not done yet. i got to go over it with uh, sandpaper yet. But you remember, it was just all black before, except up here, where it was uh, just like it is right there now. You can still see some of the blackness in it. You can still see some of it down here, some of that string shadows. But there's still some blackness in there that I left. There, maybe you can see it. It brings the wood grain out a little bit more, I think, if I leave some of it. So, uh, let's get some sandpaper now. We'll go over it with sandpaper. A very fine 2,000 grit, maybe 1,500. We'll see what works. Check this out. These are elixir strings, okay? Yeah, we're back at the bridge, saddle. And you can see where Elixir's coating has came off with my new super macro lens. Man, that son of a gun zooms in, does it not? I'm getting so close to it, I'm blocking the light. But yeah, check that out, man. This is where his pick hits. The area where the pick hits between the sound hole and the bridge. There you can see, like new string, almost. And there where the coating is gone. Pretty amazing, pretty amazing dang lens, too. Check that out. Oops. Oopsie daisy. Let me find the sweet spot. There's the dust. There we go, I think. Higher, higher magnification you go to, the harder this camera is to hold still. But anyways, I think you see what I was talking about there. Once again, you people that uh, click that support button, you bought these lenses so I can bring you images like this. And then you get up past where his pick touched the strings. There you can see that stuff coming off there, the coating. But you get on up here, and they're kind of like new again. See what I mean? Wild men. Oh, wow, men. I think that's just fascinating as shit right there. Hold on. I don't want to bore you like too long with this, but... All I'm doing is just got, got 2,000 grit sandpaper here. And this knocking away the uh, very light scratches from the razor blade. It's not going to look its best until we get linseed oil on it. I'm going to polish these frets also, just uh, you know, with the semi chrome polish. The life saving polish that I have showed you. Go over it all with that. After we linseed the board.
Yeah, I got another piece of paper here. Let me try it now. Fun, huh? Yeah, man. Well, I think it's fun. I find it quite erectifying. <laughs> oh, man. You gotta laugh now and then. Try to keep things happy. Things on YouTube's sad enough right now. So try to keep a good attitude, folks. Love your brother. Brothers. Let them know you love them. Like I love you guys. All y'all come here to my channel and support this channel and watch it and keep coming back. Thank you guys and gals so much for that. I hope the videos help you. Or if you're just someone that likes to mess with guitars, well still I hope they help. You find something useful in them. Boy, that sandpaper just... I'm going to have to get a brand new piece, I think. Well, here's... This piece might be okay. Let me get that again a little bit. Are we in the camera? I do believe we are. So, this video, I was just going to show you this and show you the board and uh, brag on that macro lens a little bit. And the next video... I'll do, like I said, I will uh, tune it up, set it all back up and all that crap, and then check, uh, you know, the setup, the neck relief, string action, check everything with these strings right here. You know, actually, can't do that. I'm going to have to tell you, I should have just took these strings off. I almost made a mistake just now, folks. Uh, I can't put, I can't put, uh, linseed on this board with the strings on it. What the hell am I thinking? Not thinking, that's the whole thing. Not thinking at all. Gave it up. Quit. <laughs> so off will come the strings on the next video. Off will come the strings, so we put the new strings on. Well, first we'll uh, grease the fretboard, oil it, and then we will uh, polish the frets. And then we'll put new strings on it, set it all up, set the guitar up, check everything all over again, yet again. Yeah, I lost my head for a minute, you know, it happens. I'm lucky that I ever find my head. <laughs> so yeah, next video, that's what we'll do. Okay, check it out. Now remember, we gotta put uh, linseed on this yet. Shit. We gotta put linseed on it yet, and those shadow of the strings are really, makes that look funky. So uh, it'll look a lot better once we get linseed on it. But uh, let me back off here a little bit. I just think that looks better than it being black all over. It's still, it's kind of hard to tell it's rosewood. It looks like a really, really dark, funky rosewood with whatever that stuff is on there. But I, th I think it looks way better than it did when it was all black. See what I mean? Let me know in the comments what you guys think. I think it looks very much better. Let's see if I can get you a... Yeah. Yes, sir. I like the looks of that better. Much better. Let me know what you think. Man. Tell us what you think. <laughs> that's the kind of fuzz I was talking about. But that's not very bad. Usually on elixir strings, it's a lot worse than that. But you see that fuzz, that's the uh, coating, what is it, 17 microns thick, I think I read one time. That's, I don't like elixir. I don't like them. Okay, so what are we going to do with the next video? Next video, what are we going to do? we got to get together on this thing. 
That's what they said in Deliverance when they killed that mountain man. <laughs> Got to get together on this thing. I, next video, I'll go ahead and take the strings off. Won't bore you with that. Next video, we'll linseed oil the neck and the bridge. Polish the frets with the semi-chrome polish. I uh, have to find a new set of strings. Heavy, heavier strings. He, these are 13 to 56s. So that's what I'm going to put back on it. Um, and we'll set everything up again. Set the neck relief all over again. Check it. It'll probably change. It always does when you have this, all the strings loose like that. And we'll check the action. And, the, and then we'll lastly check the intonation with the new strings on it. But uh, we're good to go. I think we're going to have a demo on the next video. We'll play with her a while and listen to her moan, <laughs> so to speak. So, yeah, but uh, if you have a fretboard that is, like, stained or dyed or whatever, you can do this very thing I just now showed you and at least, you know, change it from black or whatever color it is to the nat natural wood grain. Uh, well, it's not going to finish on it, but at least you'll be able to see the natural wood grain the way I did this. It was almost wore off up here to nut anyway. I just... Uh, made it more obvious all the way down the neck. It was completely black. I don't know, from about the 10th fret, 12th fret, down to the sound hole, it was all black. Now you can see the wood grain, and I think it looks very much, very much better, I think. Uh, let me know what y'all think. I showed it to you. Let me know if you think it's better or does it look worse. Well, that's as slick as a baby's butt bottom, where I, that 2,000 grit paper. I'm going to go over it with 2,500 grit, too, I think. But I won't bore you to death with all of that jazz. I'll bring you back when we're ready to uh, grease the uh, fretboard, oil it, and we'll start uh, putting this puppy back together and bring her back to life again. Hope that helps, guys. Thanks for sticking with me. See you then. Hope to see you then. Be there. Do it.